Hello, <laughs> what's going on guys? Uh, Kitchen Boy, what's good? I see you, I see you. I think you're the only one here right now, but oh no, we got a couple people here. Uh, but, how y'all doing? Yeah, I know you guys were loving the music, um, but it is just me today. Um, Matt is currently in a uh, on an island somewhere, sipping Mai Tai, sipping nice uh, rum and coke. Um, and here I am, you know, I figured, one thing we want to do is kind of get a little bit more consistent with some of the, uh, with the streams, especially on Thursdays. Um, so we want to do, be a little more consistent with that. And basically, if it'll always be, it'll always, we'll always strive to be at least two of us. But if one of us isn't here, the other one will try to stream video games and we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, Matt's stranded on an island. Uh, well, he's not he, stranded from, for his own choice. He's been working on uh, his film, his latest film, Brawler, which uh, just recently got greenlit. And it's, it's guys, it's going to be his most amazing work, I think. Um, so I'm really excited for you guys to see a little bits of it. He has a great story that he's going to tell you all when, um, when he gets back here. But yeah, how are you all doing? I know it's a bit of an early stream today. Um, so, you know, because, uh, yeah, I know. Curry knows. I got we got a Warriors game wearing the pool party shirt. Um, I'm going to a uh, to a, a watch party. Um, basically, if you don't know, my team is the Golden State Warriors. They they play in San Francisco, and in that arena, sometimes when the team is playing on the road. Right now, they're about to play in Boston. Um, <laughs> it's not like I just woke up. Yeah, it's about where I'm at. Had a long day last night, but yeah, basically, I'm gonna head to the arena. And they're going to open it up and we're going to watch it on the big Jumbotron. And uh, basically they're going to be, what's up Matt? Oh, we got Matt in here? Hey, what's good, man? What's good? As you can see, setup's not too bad. Um, but we're about to play some games. Let me, let me go ahead and uh, set this up. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We're going to set it to the game. This is my first time streaming, so here we go. Boom. There's, There's the game. game. Uh, we're, we're going to be, be playing, playing a game, game that, that I don't know if you guys know. I have never played this game. <laughs> I've never played this game. Yo, Super Chat, send Super Chat to try to get uh, Matt back from the island. Um, but, you know. Oh, do you mind? No, no, I'd never. I would never forget about you, man. What's good? Hope you're doing all right. Um, so, yeah, we're going to play this game called... Uh, oh, there's a little bit of an echo. Thank you. Let me get that taken care of. Okay, how's that? How's that? How's that? Matt in Cancun. One, two, three, Cancun. Um, yeah, so to be honest, let me just start talking so you um, better. All right, cool. Um, so I'll be very honest. I have never, when I play video games, I'm never like talking to myself, you know? So I have a bunch of questions. I, I relied on you guys to... Uh, Give me some talking points. Give me some uh, some questions I can answer on the chat here. Um, so I will be on that. If you see them on my phone, I promise I'm not just going on Instagram. I'm just uh, looking at your questions. So let's start off. First of all, hold on. Let me start with promoting our little, little playlist. I got to start off every, every stream with this. Uh, if you guys don't know. We have a little playlist that we concocted for you, curated the vibes for. Um, let's go ahead and put that in the chat real quick. If I can find our stream, what the fuck? There it is. 
boom all right so there's the uh now that's what i call an our thoughts summer uh playlist that is basically just the soundtrack to your to your summer if you guys are interested uh this game this game matt is uh titled uh art the artful escape uh basically i i just i watch this youtube channel uh this dude jake baldino he recommends some really great video games and i figured this is a nice music whoop, music based game i figured it's nice and uh I've never played this game. I have no idea what's about to happen, uh, but I've just seen some of the visuals, and it's, it looks beautiful. As you can see, it, it has its own style. I think it'll be fun. Um, I, there's a lot of wires around me right now. Let me sit back uh, <laughs> and uh, chill for a bit. But, yeah, yeah, let me know how you guys are liking this video game stream, if you guys would like to see this often. Um, let's see. Also, let me go ahead. Actually, let me go ahead and start, like, just talking to you guys real quick. So, no, nah, um, how have I been doing? Thank you uh, for asking. I've been doing great. Uh, this past weekend, I visited a nice little concert. Should I go to the talking, just, like, me thing? No, nah, it's okay. Um, it's cool. Yeah, uh, w I went to a concert lately. Um, I've been posting on my Instagram. Basically, it was... Um, we have this, uh, they call it a lawn pass uh, for this venue called the Concord Pavilion. And basically, I get to show up to a bunch of concerts. Uh, I pay one time fee for e every concert. It's like Chicago, I saw, uh, and Beach Boys, I saw, who else? Who was the other person I saw? Tears for Fears, uh, there's Backstreet Boys, uh, fucking Big Time Rush. I think Wild and Out is going to record an episode, and that's covered in that lawn pass. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I got to, so it's like a nice little, they call it the lawn pass cause there's obviously like the seated areas over in the front, but then you got the lawn in the back and that right there is like the chill ass spot. Like I literally feel like I was at freaking some festival or Coachella or Woodstock, uh, just with how ch chill everything was, you know, you, you feel the, the sun hitting your face just right. Uh, the winds blowing nicely and just such a good vibe, man. Um, and then you you take that and you put Beach Boys music, like live Beach Boys music in front of you is, was just like, I felt like I was in a time machine uh, back in the 60s. Um, definitely not the 60s, like, I, I, I would, <laughs> 60s with a little bit more diversity. I don't think I would be allowed at a Beach Boys concert uh, in the 60s. <laughs> so, yeah, no, uh, it was uh, Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. Yeah, he's the lead singer. He was performing. It was really great. I felt really honored. To have seen uh this dude because um here let me let me no i can keep it on the screen uh i felt really honored to have seen him because you know he comes out and he's on this walker and um and man he's just doing and my mom like whispers like man he's just doing this for the love of the music so i'm like yeah wow like he and then to hear you know song classics like uh, wouldn't it be nice uh good vibrations fucking um surfing usa you know we've all heard those songs in movies so to hear, you know, the person who created that, those music, that music and, uh, you know, that sound, you know, Teen Beach movie, for Disney Channel movie, inspired a lot by Beach Boys. Um, you know, just like the whole California culture, a lot of it is inspired by or curated to the sound of, Beach, yeah, WandaVision, there you go. Um, so it was, it was just such an incredible honor to, to see, you know, Brian Wilson uh, live on stage, so... It was really cool. And then Chicago, man, man. Oh, another thing about uh, the Beach Boys thing that I want to talk about, man. I was uh, I actually got off the phone yesterday or no, two days ago with my friend uh, from college. We were, uh, man, so, uh, in Santa Barbara. Uh, so, you know, beach culture, the Beach Boys fits really well because me and him, we actually he kind of taught me a lot about about music because uh, he plays guitar. He, he studied music theory. Um, and we would talk a lot and he showed me this album one day. He's like, yo, check out this album, Beach Boys, uh, Pet Sounds. And he was telling me it's the very first concept album ever made. You know, you talk about what our channel is about, Our Thoughts Podcast. It's about dissecting those, you know, big concepts that, that, um, that you know, our favorite albums have. So... Uh, being able to hear and hear him talk passionately about it, I feel like that part that inspired me to you know to want to have a podcast and talk a little bit about uh, albums that I love so 
uh, I was listening to, to, he was playing some of the hits, you know, um, Cry on My Shoulder, Caroline, oh, hey, what, uh, Jose, hi, Chesco, how you doing? I'm doing great, man, doing great, it's a beautiful Thursday, um, happy to be here with you guys, thank you for coming through on this, on this uh, beautiful afternoon, we're about to play some games, we're about to chill, sorry if my voice sounds a little different, um, or a little tired, uh, I had a big day last night, but yeah, so so he kind of kind of told me like the the importance and what a concept album is, you know, albums that have a story, a narrative. Um, and so I texted him. I was like, I, I sent him a Snapchat. I was like, man, look at this. Um, like, look at this. Like, I'm watching Beach Boys and it just reminds me of you. Um, and he was like, yeah, man, I miss you. Like, we're, we're like, uh, you know, it's been so long. Like, we kind of lost touch after I uh, moved out from San I moved back to the Bay after Santa Barbara. So it was just um, saving his voice for later. Yeah. <laughs> so so it was really nice. And then we, we kind of got off the phone. Yes. Two days ago again, I said. And we we're just having a great conversation, catching up. Literally like a two hour phone call went by like that. So, man, Beach Boys was uh, just like such a great experience. Great experience. Yeah. Um, Matt, let's play. Hey, man, we got uh, me and Matt. We've been talking about this idea um that i think you guys will love it's a has to do with has, has something to do with this channel has to do with hip-hop um with music uh <laughs> oh damn jose okay all right he's gonna call me out like that you you, you dropped the super chat so it's cool it's cool i'll let you i'll let you do that but yeah like i said uh whenever we uh get this gaming channel going like we're gonna we got we got an idea right off the bat for you guys. Um, yeah. So without further ado, I think it's it's time to um, start this game, the Artful Escape. I again, I have no idea what this game is. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, let, let me let me get the uh, what do you call it? Motherfucking um, subtitles. Is subtitles a thing? Huh. Guess not. Well, uh, I'm sure there's captions somewhere, but yeah, man. Let's see what you guys got in the chat here. One of the Beach Boys is credited as a writer. I don't, I, don't, I forgot if I already read your message, Darren, but that is pretty sick. What song? Can you? If I had to guess, I'd feel like it's uh, I heard you're married. That's my, that's my guess. But let me know if I'm wrong. By the way, that song is really underrated, I feel like. I think Lil Wayne kind of brings a different vibe to it, which is why it's so... I think it's kind of polarizing, but I think that song is super memorable. I'm definitely going to be screaming, <laughs> screaming every single lyric uh, to that song when uh, when we get this tour going. When we get this... Uh, damn, okay, I guess there's no words. But... To strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. You probably can't hear it, but it's... Did I just turn the volume up? Have I heard the new Joji song? I've heard it's like a really sad song, but I haven't heard the actual song. Damn, look at the style on that game. Uh, do I play on PC or console? I pl I'm playing on the PS4 right now. Uh, my brother is the PC, the PC guy. So, yeah, that's that's uh, that's a setup. Oh, to shred a sci-fi guitar on. Oh shit! I know, I know. I'm trying to figure out game volume. I'm just, I'm gonna just turn this up. <laughs> I'm just turn, I'm just turn the TV up. I don't know if that's gonna work. Let me know if that you hear something, but. You guys need to hear this this uh, button right here. The song is so sad. I don't want to talk about. It. Okay, okay. I'm gonna check it out. Here we go. Ooh.
Damn. Oh, hello. <laughs> Apologies for the dogs. But. Mm. Oh, I feel that. Quick question, by the way. I know I was plugging the the playlist earlier. Let me know if you guys have a favorite song so far from the playlist. Uh, if, you, if there's any song that stood out to you, any moments, any memories you guys made already to that playlist. Um, yeah. Something I'm curious about. First show. Ooh, I get to choose what I want to say. All right. Huh. Planets without names is kind of lame. The unfathomable depths of space sounds good. That sounds that sounds like my vibe. I didn't know this game was going to be an intervention. Oh, my God. All right. Um, <laughs> huh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Not sure about dangerous. I'm definitely irrational. I need you to accompany me to the summit on the boat race. Okay. I'm going to make crime. It'll be funny. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Otis, absolutely incredible song. About to call the paparazzi on myself. Oh, little bean, man. Thank you so much. You've been here literally forever. Oh, I can walk around now. Can I just jump off the cliff? Nope. I tried. But yeah, isn't this game kind of beautiful? And by kind of, I mean like really, really pretty. Can I walk down that way? No. It's a side scroller. Cool. That makes it easy for me. Like I said, I'm not really used to talking to myself when I'm playing games, so um, feel free to just like leave a bunch of questions. I'll be looking in the chat often because I feel like because I feel like I'm being boring if I'm not talking a lot, so <laughs> so just just you know. You know what to do. Calypso. Okay. Damn, look at that fit though. That's fire. I don't know what she's talking about. I can jump. I can jump. Damn, look at that vert. That's a 40 inch vert right there. Whew. He can just do that 10 times. I'm getting tired just looking at it. <laughs> See, this is old old head shit right here. Man, that Beach Boy Chicago. Ooh, that little slide. You see that? Can I come back? Let's do that shit again. Hold on. Hey. Just jumping through the woods. It feels like twilight. But yeah. What have you guys been up to? Because I've just been... I kind of gave you the whole spiel. Already, but what I've been up to. Let's see. Look at that game. Look at the background. The mountains. The clouds. Each, like, wheat. Kind of blown in the wind. Damn. I don't know if you guys can hear that background music, but it's nice. Oh, here we are. Hmm. 
the skiffle band honestly i was kind of i was reading your chat before uh any of this happened so i was i have no idea what to say let's just say good for them good for them you need to check out Ooh. Is this, you need to check out That's Why God Made the Radio by the Beach Boys. Yes. Yeah, okay, I need, I'll definitely check that out. Thank you for the rec. Darren, you, you seem like you, you know a lot about Beach Boys, man. Would have been a cool concert uh, for you to go to, but it was really great, man, seeing him, like, just play the hits, like, was, was incredible. And seeing everyone else uh, kind of remember their first moment listening to the song was, was incredible. Just such a... Again, honored to have experienced that, but here we go. Hold square to play folk ballad. Here we go. Stop. Damn. I was from the phone folk. Stuff from the lookout. What is that pad she's that like thing she's wearing on her wrist, do you think? Hmm. Hey. No, not that one. Try again. This reminds me of like uh, Back to the Future, with the um that scene where he he plays the speakers really loud, blasts himself across the room. Okay. Oh, this is the crime. Damn, I feel used. Someone in the chat remind me who Rami is. <laughs> it's the one that likes Skiffle or whatever, right? Oh. Oh. Francis. That's awfully close to Francesco. I love it. I love it. Damn, I'm loving these glasses. Okay, okay. Yeah, my dad's seen the Beach Boys lo loads of times. Okay, cool. That's dope. Look at those colors, man. Wow. Honestly, I haven't really gotten a chance to, like, play, you know, indie games or, like, AAA games, you know, um... Like, like games like, because I'm usually just like 2K is cool for me. Uh, I'll play like Ghost of Tsushima, amazing game. Another great game that, I, you know, if you'd be down to watch, watch a stream, I'd be down to play. I think there's a multiplayer mode, so that'd be dope to have Matt on there. Um, uh, what else? What other games I have? I play <laughs> Lego Star Wars, but like games like this that, you know, I wouldn't have heard about from another, unless I watched that video. I, I, I makes me want to play more game so oh heard that <laughs> I'm all right Ooh.
Firewatch? I'll check that out. Thanks for the wreck, kitchen boy. Kitchen boy. Someone else entirely. So the reason I look kind of, I had a big smile is that, is this, ooh, damn. Wow. Man, I really hope the stream quality is good because this looks so beautiful right now. Um, the reason I was smiling earlier. <laughs> so, the, so the reason I was smiling earlier was because I was like, damn, he's got to be someone else. And I'm thinking, is this going to be some like kind of similar to the weekend? Like, you know, uh, he's going to like, I imagine that story of. Like, imagine the moment that Abel decided to become The weekend or create this character of The weekend. You know, obviously, he, you know, maybe he didn't know what it was going to be. Maybe he didn't know he was going to be this big superstar. But at one point, he decides to channel all his, you know, those experiences with drugs and women and, and, and you know, vices and all that stuff into this character na named The weekend and really appeal to that demographic. So I wonder, like... I, so this kind of scratches my curiosity of like I don't know if that's a saying, you know, piques my curiosity of like damn like I wanna I wonder how he went about creating, you know, this persona this identity um, that we now know as you know one of the greatest stars of our time. So really interesting. Ooh, a cable car. So this is like the opening credits, I guess. So let's go ahead and pull out one of those questions from. Uh, that I asked you guys to, to send me on Instagram, Twitter. This one is from, this one's from Joshua Fry. Hey, Josh. Um, he says, he, he asked, what were some, what are some albums that would make cool musicals, some cool movies, um, concepts, all that stuff. Um, and it's kind of funny here. Let me turn down the music a little bit. So it's kind of funny because I actually, <laughs> when, uh, when Asteroid was coming out or came out, I, actually had written a an outline and a i'd started on a script for mark strong damn great actor um i'd started a a script for like an astroworld like musical carl weathers wow <laughs> this is why i can't have a i'm gonna be so bad at streaming for the first couple times because i'm just gonna get distracted by the game um i'd started working on a script like that's like this musical kind of coordinated to music space opera like you know uh coming of age movie i think that would have been cool uh that kind of fits the story would have followed this character named webster um Jacques webster you know uh travis scott um and i was thinking about it again lately and i was like damn like how would i describe it to someone and i'd say like maybe it's I'd say it's like a uh, mix between Into the Spider-Verse and what was it? Ready Player One, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, like those kind of like awe-inspiring stories. Uh, the music would have fit into the album, like the album would have been, would have existed in the universe of the movie. And it's like every time he plays the song, like it takes him to that, to a scene that fits that world. So yeah, no, it's it was going to be a whole thing. I didn't really flesh it out as well as i i wanted just kind of you know dropped it because because school and stuff but but yeah no it's so asteroid would be a cool thing um another one igor igor would be a cool musical obviously it's like the story of um of heartbreak of of this manipulative toxic cycle relationship type thing so that's always going to be good I, I don't know if you guys saw but there's a uh, like a youtube video where someone took the logo of Igor and like made like a movie like intro opening title sequence like for an actual movie so I don't know maybe in, the, in my head that's just one of those things that that uh Igor would absolutely be a sick musical um <clears throat> I, I don't know if anyone knows this uh probably do uh because the internet Childish Gambino's because the internet literally has a companion script that they that you're you're supposed to read uh while you listen to the album so that's bino is like one of those like one of those people you can tell that he was past making albums by the time he made bti like he was ready to make a movie he was ready to make 
Atlanta. So, man, love Bino. Um, let's see. And obviously there's the obvious ones. Um, like the, any of the weekend's albums would obviously make a musical. I'm, I'm curious, who, what, what uh, weekend album would you guys want a movie based on or about or musical specifically uh yeah centered around besides after hours after hours is a cheat code so let's let's take after hours off the board Ooh. hey oh some cougars Oh, she's on drugs? <laughs> Yo. Hey. Love me a cougar mama. Aw. You're going to catch more than a glimpse, Grandma. I can't believe it's 1955. House of Balloons would be, I'm guessing, that would be sick. Kind of like, um, if you guys don't know, uh, Matt put out a, <clears throat> uh, Matt has a, a series that he does with, with, his, uh, with his friends, with, with his colleagues called uh, Garland, and he did a f short film titled Ellie, and it really feels like, it feels like inspired by House of Balloons, like you could picture House of Balloons being the soundtrack of that film. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's Garland, G-A-R-L-A-N-D, uh, Ellie. It's the first episode. Also, I believe in that episode, you get to see Matt's throat get slit. So, you know, some some incentive to go check it out. Um, Kissland, like a horror movie. Yeah, I love those. Oh, uh, in, in the titular song, in the titty alert song of uh, Kissland, I love that like screaming sound effect that it, it it cuts to every now and then. Uh, it's like one of my, I think it's like my favorite little sound nugget the weekend has ever had. I hope, I hope one day he kind of returns back to that, uh, that aesthetic. It doesn't necessarily have to be Kissland sound, but I would like to see him use those textures again, those dark, scary, frightening, uh, like for real horrors type stuff. I think he's getting this, um, you know, he's in the pop phase right now, but I hope once he creates those, those, those types of albums again, I think, I hope he goes back to that aesthetic. Beauty Behind the Madness would be sick. Yeah, I could definitely see Beauty Behind the Madness. Uh, I think some, I remember seeing, hey. This is literally me and Matt. Matt Matt is Francis. I'm I'm this fucking guy. <laughs> um Loki wasn't listening. Uh <laughs> Ever heard of Lightmans? Sure. Hmm. Also, I don't know if you guys watch Kenobi. Latest episode, fucking sick. Um, incredible episode. Wow. That series has been so good. Oh, we can just keep talking. Okay. Uh, mm. All right. We out. I love the vibe of this fucking game, man. Wow, we have posters. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I just noticed that too, actually. Yeah, literally as soon as I was, the second I was reading your message, I, I noticed like, damn, really great. Lens crafters must have really taken off this, uh, this uh, universe. No one's wearing contacts. Damn, I wonder if this is going to be a big thing. 
since I see literally everyone has glasses. Literally everyone. So, hmm. Interesting. I'm just... <laughs> oh my god, I forgot that... Uh, <laughs> with this art, that's why... I, I'm just imagining all of a sudden just like DJ Khaled or some shit popping up. Ed Sheeran being like the main villain. He's like, I heard you're... I heard you're some folk singer. And I'm the best around these parts. Or, what is it? This town ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> Gotta... I hate... I hate myself. Um, kitchen boy... Oh, shit. We got fucking Italian mobster. Back, a uh, good fellas extra. Yeah, the way uh Kenobi, the, the way Kenobi has been able to bridge the the prequel series and the original trilogy, it's incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Um, again, apologies for my dogs, but yeah, it's been absolutely incredible. Um, and specifically, the way they b bridge the prequels in this last episode was just we. I watch it with my brother and sister, um, and my mom every week and we literally screamed seeing a uh, a certain character popping up on screen nah bro try me last i checked i'm the main character of this game Yo, I'm gonna fuck him up for real. If he, if he if he tries to mess with me, I'm gonna fuck him up. Uh, Miss Marvel, yes, Miss Marvel. Uh, I've been enjoying the hell out of that episode. Hold on, someone about to come in my room. Uh, I've been enjoying Miss Marvel, man. Really great series. Surprise. It, it, how I describe it, it's like, it's like a dis. If a, if a original Disney Channel show like like Lizzie McGuire or That's So Raven was mixed with Sam Raimi's original original Spider-Man movies. Like the way that it's like he starts off small with just saving or much Marvel starts off with just saving people just struggling. There's that kind of parallel between superpowers and and uh, puberty, which I always I always like seeing on screen especially with a like a female character one of, you know, that culture, that ethnic, some something that I feel like people mainstream media doesn't really embrace as often as it should but yeah such a great series um and i'm really interested to see they kind of made her into a different power power set than her her character in the comics it's like more in, in the comics she's more like a mr fantastic like stretchy person uh this one is kind of more like green lantern huh it's really interesting but anyways Maps of imaginary countries, huh? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Cl Cafe Cliché. It's a cute little name. This guy's a real quirky mother effer, isn't he? Oh, I probably should have gone the other side. Damn. Let's see what's up. But yeah, how have you guys... Uh, what have you guys been watching lately? Let me know. Any any uh, good albums? Any good music? Movies? I just want to see what we got here before I have any more conversations. Let's talk to this person. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, moral of the story. I've been really enjoying Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel's been pretty good. I think the main actor. Has uh, really impressed me. Really impressed me. And and that twist at the end of that episode was really interesting. Oh, this Ed Sheeran. Wow, crazy. Ed Sheeran is in this game. Literally, as I <laughs> right after I said it, <laughs> man. Remember, 
if I don't know if you guys watched yesterday. Uh, it's like this movie basically where. Uh, it's like as if the Beatles never existed, and this guy, or he, this this guy gets into a car accident, and he almost wakes up in a universe where the Beatles never existed, and so he decides, oh, I'm gonna make the Beatles songs and be the Beatles, like the modern day Beatles, and create their music and bring that into the culture. Uh, <laughs> and basically, <laughs> Ed Sheeran comes in, and he's basically the the movie basically says like, Ed Sheeran doesn't even compare to <laughs> doesn't even compare to the Beatles so he's just constantly being like almost like shit on like the movie kind of like I don't even know how to describe it but they kind of shit on Ed Sheeran as if like oh he doesn't even stand a chance against the Beatles so I appreciate that he's able to he was able to play that role no ego but and, and here he is in The Artful Escape Industry Heavyweight you know, like number, what is he now? Number one on Spotify. Nothing says industry heavyweight like, is that a gots? Breaking Bad, no way. My sister actually, um, actually finished Breaking Bad just recently. She was, she just decided one day like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start binging Breaking Bad. I was like, I support that. It's one of the best series of all time. Maybe my favorite series to ever exist. And basically, she finished it this past yesterday. I came back home for after meeting with uh, with my girl, and she and she was like, "Oh yeah, I finished Breaking Bad." And he and I and I cried. <laughs> Been watching Miss Marvel, finished and caught up with Stranger Things, trying to figure out what to binge next. Yeah, man, I've heard a lot of great things about about Stranger Things. This looks like a nice little bookstore. Hmm. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna pause I'm gonna pause here and ask you guys what book I should pick up. So we got Morbid Psychedelia Psychedelia. A scientist poisons his town's water supply to appear to them as an alien being. That's one. Um a king oh wings of Orion, a king disguises himself as a piece of overcast sky, velochrome, using an illegal avatar, mutant arises through the aristocracy aristocracy. I promise I can read <laughs> of a cyber city. So I'm going to pause here for a real quick second for you guys to catch up. And uh, let's see. Let's put out another one of these questions. Uh, this is from... Uh, I was surprised when Ed Sheeran was number one, too. Uh, same with Justin Bieber. I, I was surprised that he's still as high as he is on the rankings. Um, what genres or subgenres would I like to see have a modern twist? Uh, this is from Athens pikowitz on instagram so shout out to you uh so yeah uh some genres i think that are really cool for music that i feel like i are ripe to be the trend again number one in my head is city pop i, I think i mentioned city pop before i've definitely mentioned it before and basically it's kind of this like hybrid mix of of fucking it's like this cultural mix of like r&b uh, soul, funk, jazz, uh, elevator music, uh, city night type vibe. You know, it, it originated in Japan. Uh, so, man, it just has all the makings. You, if you're on this channel, you're probably here because you love The Weeknd. And The Weeknd actually, you know, used a city pop song in none other than Out of Time. So, that, that song actually was what introduced me to, like, those textures, the sounds that, that like, that palette, you know, so I was really enjoying that. I feel like I, that's that would be incredible to see, you know, be a real, a real trend and a real kind of subgenre, a real big subgenre of music. Another one, I think country needs to, to do something. Like I, I, tr I keep trying to give country a chance. Like I, I enjoy country. I love Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey, incredible record. 
Um, what else? We got fucking um, Blake Shelton <laughs> from The Voice. Uh, I used to have a country playlist, but I, I like I like the vibe of country, but I think they just need to add something to it because I feel like they've been making, they've been talking about the same things, saying the same stuff, making the same sounds for the last like however long, like thirty years. So I think I th- I would like to see country do something something different. Yeah, country ain't what it used to be. That's just me. Uh, but I'm glad to see someone else. It's always nice to have someone else agree with you, yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to go with Morbius. The Morbid Psychedelia. Oh, hey. Pretty cool. Did I just get high <laughs> just receiving the book? Hey now. So Lightman's is like a thing. Like, we're going to need to come back to that. Okay. Okay. Wow, look at that. I don't know, man. That's beautiful. Bright colors, very bright colors. God, so sick. Hold on, I want to see what's over here. <laughs> what's this? Oh, a phone call. Got seven days. Wait, <laughs> how does he know it's me? Yeah, thank you, Francis. Hey, the good vibrations. Okay. <laughs> Calling himself out. Wait, is this? This sounds like this sounds like a character from an animated movie or like show. Damn, that's gonna bug me for the rest of the day. It is, um. Fuck. Damn, I don't remember. Can you guys hear the game? Just let me know. Like, barely. It's okay if it's like you can barely hear it, but can you hear, like, the dialogue a little bit? Oh, hello. What are y'all doing over here? I know y'all see that. I'm gonna just chill here, watch him. I'm gonna be that guy. <laughs> and also, they overheard that whole conversation about, like, mayoral corruption and... <laughs> Alright. Do what y'all do. Alright, appreciate it, Curry. By the way, the thing that's been holding back, so full disclosure here, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. The damn part two explained video is recorded. It's in my laptop. It's literally in my video editing software, but the warriors have kind of (laughs) taken up a lot of my time and my mental headspace. So... So that's been kind of what's holding back, I think, the damn part to explain, and also this channel. (laughs) So blame the Warriors. Oh, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Damn, so Vendetti is, like, for real, like, the... Like, the one. Like, he... This is like if Freddie Mercury had a nephew. I hear some excuses. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise it'll be out soon. <coughs> the weekend. <laughs> I 
million views? Why would he do that? Hmm. This is literally like the weekend. To, oh, cause, oh my God, this is like the perfect game to play for this channel. That's crazy. I promise I did not know this would <laughs> be the thing, but here we are, and it looks great. Oh, we're high again. Oh, spacing out. Have you ever heard of a place called Lightman? A place called Lightman? Mm, no, do you want me to take that back? Uh, actually, I kind of want to find it. Okay. Coming, Coming to the show? To the show? A little bit of show. Not really that exciting. Oh. You don't like the skiffle band? They're like Jimmy Fay started in skiffle. Yeah, everyone loves Jimmy for his skiffle. If they win tonight, you gotta drop it tomorrow. Man, let me tell you this much, man. It is it is a big boy. Oh, Darren, thank you for bringing up yes, the Beyonce album. Uh, so I was talking, I was talking with my girl about this because she's um she's also a stan. I don't know if I'm ready to disclose which artist she's a stan of, but she was like, "Damn, yeah, I know the Beehives are getting ready to be uh." to be a, like to rule the t Twitter again because they've been kind of quiet not gonna lie like they haven't had much to you know to write home about other than just like appearances public appearances the Lion King movie that came out a couple couple years ago uh, which apparently all beehive the the B stands are also are just like yeah she's not a great voice actor but you know we love her anyways <laughs> um, so the Beyonce album I'm expecting something really great. Last, if I remember correctly, it's like it's called uh, Act One Renaissance. So that leads me to believe that this is this is a, a project that has been in the works for a while now. And not only that, there's going to be multiple of them. So that's very interesting. Really excited. When, whenever an artist like Beyonce drops, by the way, Beyonce is dropping, bro. Like that's this year is going to be have the craziest Our Thoughts Awards I think we've ever seen. But when artists like Beyonce drops, it's kind of like, it's it's like Adele. It's like, uh, it's like who else? Um, you know, it's like just those artists that you that the culture just like stops and waits and listens to the album. Like even if you're not a fan. So I'm expecting a lot of opinions, and because of that, I'm expecting a very lukewarm reaction to it. I'm expecting a lot of people to not understand what she's going for. Meanwhile, the Beehives kind of go crazy about it. Uh, so Twitter is for sure going to crash whenever that album drops. For sure. I'm really, really excited. I hope we get a a Jay-Z, a couple, couple of Jay-Z features. Like, do you remember uh, the Carters? The Carters? I don't, I don't remember if that's a name. But basically, it's like the collab album with Jay-Z and, and Beyonce. And with Ape Shit, you know, all that stuff. That was a pretty good album, pretty fun album. Uh, when you just like vibe into it and all that stuff, it's a pretty good album. So I'd I'd definitely recommend that one, The Carters. Uh, again, I don't know if that's the actual name of the album. Not gonna lie, I ain't a big fan of Beyonce. She has good songs, but she isn't someone I somebody I listen to. Yeah, okay. So I feel like this is a safe space. I I happen to think Beyonce is a little overrated. I don't think she's like incredible performer. She's made amazing songs like Halo. Crazy in Love, Drunk in Love, um, you know, If I Were a Boy, shit, amazing classics, but, you know, I don't think, I don't think she's made like, but then again, I'm not the demographic, so it's not, it's, how, it's not really my, uh, my cup of tea, I guess all I have to say is, so, yeah. Oh, there's our house. Damn, nice place. Dang, this is like really high up. I would like literally in the clouds. Imagine having a house in the clouds. I'm going to jump. Damn, the dream right here. Look at these outfits, man. The Illuminati. 
Yeah, I, I I don't know if you guys have seen that video. I think she was at a Warriors game, and she was just kind of staring blankly into the into the crowd, and just kind of or like into the into space, and and it's just like a very long video of her staring into space, and it's just like, <laughs> if you guys look back on our channel, there's a video where it's me, Matt, and Maya. And we have we talk about conspiracies. <laughs> one of one of the conspiracies we talked about was was the 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 idea that Beyonce could very well be a robot. <laughs> Man, that was uh, it was an in person one too. So if you guys go back in our channel, uh, it was very early on. If you guys don't know, we this was originally gonna just be like purely a podcast centric podcast. So Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud etc and sorry the burner account is going crazy right now i was going between warriors winning game five and and the kenobi episode i was kind of going crazy on the burner account not gonna lie um so yeah this 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 podcast was originally just going to be a podcast but then we decided to go on youtube because of you know the streaming capabilities we made uh the uh, or no we first made i forget what the first video we made was but we were like oh I feel like us, us visually, and what we could rep what we could edit into our videos might be a cool kind of aspect to bring into uh, the our thoughts brand. And I mean, just like look, look what it's become. It's been really cool, man. So very happy that the the, the channel has evolved into what it is, and that we're uh, we get to talk to you guys. Whether whether you're here in this chat right now, whether you're watching us back, we want to say thank you. Ooh, is my mom? Is mom decent? <laughs> Buckaroo. I'm fucking telling you, this is uh, this is the weekend. This is this is a story about, or like an interpretation of the weekend. Like creating that persona. What the hell? Wow. I wonder when this game was made. I I, I want to look into this game now. The Artful Escape. Obviously, you know there are other artists that have taken the persona of a of another person or whatever, or created this persona. But obviously, obviously, we're the weekend channel, so I'm going to talk about the weekend. This literal <laughs> screenshot, this send this to the weekend because this is l literally what he did. I'm I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. <laughs> I love it. Enchiladas. Ooh. Very spicy. This game is. Hold on, let me let me pull out some of these questions. I know Curry asked me a bunch of them in on Twitter. Let me let me rattle, rattle off a couple of them. So we got a bunch of questions from my boy. And let's rattle off a couple. So what are the best desserts? <laughs> Thank you. Um, best desserts. I love a good cheesecake. I love a good New York cheesecake. Uh, cookies. Big chocolate chip cookies guy. I don't know if you guys have Mrs. Fields, but Mrs. Fields has my whole heart. Uh, we got churros, churros specifically from Disneyland. I don't know if you, <coughs> if you guys haven't been to Disneyland and tasted a Disneyland churro. I don't know something about it. The the middle of it is like kind of almost like uncooked or kind of doughy. It adds like a bit of texture textural contrast to it so i love that some of my favorite desserts right there let me know let us know what, what what are some of your favorite desserts you know oh go downstairs hey that's cool go into the bathroom decided to waste some water there for no reason Ooh, 
is that a Phantom of the Opera type reference? Yo, Star Wars, Darth Vader, robot, obviously. So he's like, damn, this is, this game is speaking to me, man. I don't know what it is. That's like a Daft Punk type thing, the thing on the right there. Pretty cool. I love, um, what's the song? The, the, the Daft Punk song that's on, um, that's on our, now that's what I call summer playlist. That one's good. Yo, this game is sick. Brownies are great. Pfft, it's getting late. I should put on a record and chill out. Of course, that's what I'm going to do. Love a good record. Yeah, I love brownies. I can be some cookies. Let me know what cookies. Specifically for me, chocolate chip is the only way to go. I'm a, I'm a, I always say I'm a whore for, for chocolate chip cookies. Let's go ahead and put on a record. Girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. Doesn't this kind of sound like a uh, Phantom Regret? Maybe I'm maybe I'm just going crazy right now. That's the one, Jose. Thank you so much. Something about us. That's a great song. I love that vibe. But yeah, doesn't that sound, doesn't that kind of sound like Phantom Regret? That's just me. I'm I'm gonna retitle the stream real quick. What should I title it? I want to do like, oh, our thoughts plays the weekend game, the witty weekend video game. Because this, <laughs> this has been kind of crazy so far. How how similar it is to, uh, to the weekend. Hey now. Hmm. Que eso? Hmm. Cool. Nothing good happens after 2 a.m. Oh, I forgot I can walk. <laughs> Here, before we before we open this up, let me uh, let me answer another one of uh, Curry's questions. Here, um, who are your top ten NBA players of all time? Funny that you say that. I have a list of my uh, top ten NBA players of all time. So, number one, Michael Jordan. Undisputed to me, uh, six and zero in finals, clutch shots. We're just not going to talk about his time in in, in Washington. Two uh, A, Kobe Bryant. Two B, LeBron. I think they're so great, and that they're almost like almost like Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, where you kind of have to put them together as two of uh, Michael Jordan's heirs. You know, like their successors almost. Number. Three, I guess. Three, Kareem. Four, Oakland's own Bill Russell. Six, Magic. Or five, Magic. Sorry. Six, Larry Bird. Seven, Shaq. Eight, Wilt. Nine, Tim Duncan. And after tonight, Stephen Curry is taking that number 10 spot. So there you go. There's my top 10 NBA players of all time. Let's go ahead and open this up. <clears throat> um, hello? 
Ooh. A little, a little spicy there. Damn. I love how weird this game is. Celtics ain't winning game six, though. Don't have to worry about that. Ooh. This is he. Hmm. Oh, I like how they have the different you found hims. Okay, all right. Let's be. Let's be. Um. I don't want to be scared. I. I. I feel like I would enjoy a, an alien. An alien. An alien looking for me. So let me be impressed. Oh, like, oh, okay. You found me. Here I am. Zom. This is good. Just stand still, bro. Hey. Can you guys hear me when I'm like, like standing back like this? Hold on, let me move the mic a little closer. Can you guys hear me still? Let me know. Because I kind of feel like laying back. <laughs> Some kind of alien disco. That's kind of how I describe Don FM. I, one of my girl describes Don FM. She's one of those people that. She's one of those people that thinks the weekend's music. Like, she likes the weekend's old stuff better. She's one of those. But she's never like, oh, you know, he should go back to it. He just likes. She just prefers, you know, those old songs, which, you know, I, I respect. And she says, she described Don FM as a, as a spaceship music. <laughs> oh, my God. Alien disco music is pretty good, too. Ooh, let's go. Hold square to shred. I gotta screenshot this, bro. All right, here we go. Wow. I wonder if I can find the soundtrack somewhere, because this is fire. Wow. Can I just keep going? See a super chat? Give me one second here. Oh, I think you can stop. Hold on, let me stop. Alright. How did did I do that? Was that me? 
Okay, I just had to retitle this stream real quick. Because, my God, this is so much like The weekend. <laughs> like, just imagine this is, instead of him finding a, um, finding a guitar or whatever, just imagine him, like, playing, listening to his voice for the first time, being like, oh, shit, I sound like, I sound like Michael Jackson instead of him being like, oh, it's my uncle, like, the spirit of my uncle, or I, I think whatever it's going to be, the talent of my uncle. It's like, oh, the spirit of Michael Jackson gave me this voice. Yo. I know I'm being weird about this and really, like, reaching, but, but, whatever. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, except you, Jim the Potato. You can talk as, as much as you want. What's up, Jim? Thank you for the four ninety nine donation. The Turn the volume down. Cool. Um, that will probably go into uh, buying more games. I really like this whole gaming setup. So, thank you for coming through. Thank you for everyone coming through. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Matt's on an island somewhere, sipping Mai Tais, chilling. So, I'm just here. Playing video games, talking shit, talking about music. I'm playing what I feel like is the weekend, the video game. So, so it's been it's been cool. This has been really fun, guys. Thank you for coming through. I know it's a little bit earlier, a, a bit of an earlier stream. Wow, look at this game, man. It's beautiful. I wonder when you go outside. Let me know where you guys are, what you guys are up to, what you guys are doing now. If you guys are just chilling. I'm telling you, this has become the the weekend podcast. Like, he's been he has graced our presence. Oh, I can just hold the shred anywhere. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to do it again. Ready? Ooh, I can do it while walking. Ooh. Wow. Can I jump? Alright. Let's head down. That's so cool that he's like shredding to the background music. Like the background music is very like you know, coming of age, light and and, and you know, very epic. But then you bring in this that guitar is just amazing. Wow. Wow, damn. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of me just being like amazed. Very much agreed, Jim the Potato. Look at that. Wow. Kind of crazy this is kind of what i is this kind of similar to a scene i had in my head about in my astroworld script it was like someone like the main character would be walking and through the city to to the astroworld song and it would be it was like maybe like skeletons or something and things were kind of lighting up around him i mean i'm telling you man this game is sick i'm gonna i'm really gonna one way or another, I'm going to finish this game on stream. Like, I'm committed now. Just something simple like this, man, for a game. For a game, is just... Sometimes enough, man. You know? Just... Just knowing you, you're having an effect on this world is kind of... It's kind of what I want from video. Oh, hold on. Got a screen grab move. That's sick. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. This just clicked. So, is Lightman's him? Like, is he Light Man? Cause that'd be crazy. Damn, I actually had that. So I had a twist where, if you guys have ever watched like this old school, or not old school, but this like two thousands movie Zathura, uh, about 
Zathura is basically a movie about uh, Jumanji. It's, it's basically Jumanji, but in space. And essentially, at one point, this astronaut comes into the movie, and he's actually one of the kids in the future. So I was going to put a make a scene where the main character, Webster, in my Astroworld script would meet this guy. He's kind of everything he wants to be because... He is actually him. It's kind of like the Adam Project, if you watch that movie. Great movie. Quentin asks, did you hear what The weekend said? Uh, no, I did not. You're going to have to fill me in. Also, hello to the new people that are coming through. Just um, Matt's on an island. In, in, uh, so I'm just here chilling, playing games, talking shit. But you're going to have to tell me what The weekend said. Look at this, man. Light it up. Ooh. What do we got here? Bino. Oh, this is Carl Weathers. Yo. If you guys don't know Carl Weathers, he's uh, he was in the Rocky movies, I think. He was. He's also in Mandalorian. So he's an incredible actor. Incredible actor. ask yeah how do they fly down but let's go with how, how it would be like in an actual movie so Ooh. he's lightman okay Oh, so that's why that, that girl was dressed the way she was. Because she's literally from space. I was like, oh, she's just wearing chic or something. <laughs> she's just wearing some goth, goth chic. Here, uh, Quentin, we'll, we'll talk about that right after this line of dialogue. I will literally cut to a, just the screen of me. And we'll discuss this whole weekend. Uh, no, weekend I'm able thing. Oh, I heard that. Yo, this guy, this is such a sick game. Like, this, the, these lines of dialogue right now. God, these are gonna be buttons I have to Okay, so oh I see I see. I didn't see that thing at the beginning. God, I'm gonna have to remember all this. This is fire, bro. the next button I don't know
It's pretty cool, man. Oh shit, I forgot what the button was. I was I was looking at the chat. I forgot what the button. <laughs> Pretty cool. that note yeah let's go ahead and talk about let's talk about this thing man so as uh our boy quinn hold on let me see okay so <clears throat> so the weekend uh the set says hey coachella i no longer go by the weekend uh, he says this, as Quentin says, at 50-22 of the Coachella set. Interesting. Okay. Um, so it's that's a theory that we've kind of had for a while now, me, me, Matt and I, uh, if you guys have watched our Don FM breakdown. Uh, basically that, you know, After Hours was kind of like our last real sense of the weekend, our last glimpse of the weekend as we know him from... House of Balloons, Trilogy, uh, Kiss Land, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and basically, you know, we uh, we we end up seeing him die at the end of After Hours. He goes to Purgatory in Don FM, you know, figures out what the trauma, the source of trauma is, which, as he says on on Tale by Quincy, uh, is his lack of of having a mom in his life, and that kind of resulting in how he treats women, how he how he you know, treats his vices and all that stuff. So that's really kind of like the like the root of why he is the way he is. And then he ends up it's kind of assumed that he's eventually gonna have to break this cycle, right? That the album has. Uh it literally loops. So uh and and then that takes us into afterlife, which, you know, we had a dis we we had a discussion about it on the breakdown. We were like, oh, what if he he ends up killing or retiring this character of the weekend, uh, and this next album could be his first album as, you know, Abel, or maybe he he drops Afterlife and then or whatever it's called, and then that next album is is dropped as Abel Tesfe or, you know, maybe another character that he wants to be. Like I think of, <laughs> I think of of Tyler the Creator. He has a different character every album. You know, Wolf, uh, Igor. Tyler Baudelaire from uh, Call Me If You Get Lost. So, yeah, man. Um, so, so that it's really cool if he's going that way. If he is in fact going this to through this the section of of embracing the death of the weekend, which would make you know our our video title age pretty well. You know, Don FM explained the the life and death of the weekend. So yeah. Well, I can't wait to see just like the aesthetic of it all uh, of, of this next coming album like you know so far After Hours has been this like hellish depressed state and then we got Don FM which was this very surreal but also very gritty uh, very gritty world you know and, and one thing that we talked about in our recent video it's our most recent non live stream video uh, about the Don FM experience, the Amazon Prime Don FM experience. We we're talking about like, damn, like there's not a lot of nature in these videos except for that flower that blooms and also that scene in gasoline, the gasoline music video where he, you know, the, the nature kind of pops through the cracks uh, on the wall, but then it decays and dies. So, so I'm thinking. You know the end of this trilogy as as abel said maybe we see that flower bloom into something and maybe we see nature win and nature almost representing 
like purity or his soul kind of coming back to life you know i think that would be a really good really cool image for uh for us to get after you know think about where this all started with the heartless music video and it starts off with us seeing i don't know if it actually starts off but it starts at some point you know there's the flower it turns it, you just see it at one point and then he he licks that frog and it turns blue similar to like the don fm it kind of represents him finally like going corrupt and then coming the character we know from the after hours music video or after hours album so i mean it's just crazy to think that maybe at the end we see that flower bloom and he becomes the like a person he becomes able you know all this time we think about the weekend as who he is but maybe it's just you know just kind of a character that will this is like the origin story almost so yeah that that's really great that he said that that it's really cool that he seems to be leaning into it and i hope he's seen our video <laughs> no he has yes he, he actually has seen from what I can tell, he has seen our, our After Hours and Don FM Explain videos. So I wonder if he's seen uh, the the Don FM Experience one, where we kind of go into that theory and go into like what images lead into those that theory. So I don't know, man. It could be really cool. Jim the Potato says, I can't wait to see where Abel takes this. Absolutely. I think if you guys remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but when Don FM was coming out or like he was hyping up, uh, he went on like an awards show. I think it was like the iHeart iHeart Music uh, Choice Awards or something like that. Around that time, you know, he announces the dawn is coming. He had like a photo shoot where it was like flowers, right? And I'm thinking like, what if that's what the 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 vibe of of afterlife is? Is like it's this. It's just very serene, very natural. It's almost like him in his happy place. You know, uh, I know people have said Dante's trilogy, you know, we've gotten we've gotten hell, we've gotten purgatory. Now we're, you know, you'd like to think we're getting the afterlife, like heaven, what he thinks is heaven, as Quentin says. So I don't know. Go go look up. I don't know what you'd be able to look up. Look up maybe the weekend flowers. <laughs> yeah, look up the weekend flowers and you'll see kind of what. What I might think. What, what I might what I think the aesthetic of that next album could look like so or this next era and yeah Quentin I'll definitely check out that video later on but let's uh let's get back to this game man I've been really enjoying this game so there you go there's my little spiel I'll probably probably make that like a TikTok snippet or something I don't know follow us on TikTok by the way our thoughts podcast yeah all that stuff back to the game I'm just gonna be shredding everywhere. Ooh. Young blood. Here, Quinn, what, what are you referring to uh, when he says. Maybe he said something else. Oh, maybe he said something else other than. Uh, I don't no longer go by the week. I mean, yeah, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll, uh, maybe I'll let you guys know what I think next stream when Mac gets back here. But I don't know. Just some very exciting possibilities. What are you guys? Is um, let, let's talk about the weekend real quick here. Uh, let's ask some questions. If you guys got any um. If you guys want me to rank anything, if you guys want me to, I'm not ranking every single song by the weekend, but I will rank some stuff off the top of my head again while playing. What does that say? Destination Extraordinary, Depart Never, Danger Level 4, Helio, Troms, Departure Never Ever, Cantaloupe, 
whale zone next birthday. Cool. Yeah, let's let's have some weekend talk. Why not? Rank his album covers. Good question. Ooh, a contract. to look at it real quick so rank the weekend album covers hold up let's get to the next walking bit let's get to the next walking bit and then I'll go ahead and rank them for you like right now okay Ooh, I love this music while I rank it okay so I think I think I'm gonna go from worst to best I'm going to go Echoes of Silence. Let me turn the volume down. Okay. Ranking it from worst to best. We're going to go Echoes of Silence, the bottom. Just because none of these are like 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10. They're all like either, they're all either like 8 and a half, 9, 10 maybe. But so I'm going to go Echoes of Silence. I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> okay, ranking the weekend's album covers. We got Echoes of Silence. I'm gonna go with Trilogy. My Dear Melancholy. S Beauty Behind the Madness. Starboy. House of Balloons, the original mixtape. After Hours. Sorry, no. Dawn FM, then After Hours. And last but not least, number one on my list, Thursday. The original mixtape cover for Thursday, in my opinion, is his best album cover. So there you go. If I'm missing, <laughs> if I'm missing one, just let me know, and I'll try to remember what my ranking was. But that's my ranking. So let's let's uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Oh, hello. What do we got here? It's impossible. Do I think once the sun rises, something big is going to happen? Uh I'm cur I'm curious what you mean by the sunrise. Oh, you mean like are you referencing the take my breath? music video uh hmm maybe maybe yeah our our big <coughs> our big theory uh was that the next album would be titled heaven or las vegas and that that uh, this was just like a very very big theory because of the every angel's terrifying uh snippet where he you know you kind of have two different choices he we were thinking that maybe he has it to where the album is like a like damn where if you listen to it one way you take the weekend to heaven but if you listen it to it backwards you you kind of goes right back into you know las vegas uh heaven or las vegas so it's kind of like you choose where the weekend decides to lay for the rest of his life uh as opposed to, and then as he, as he continues on to be able so that's kind of our theory. Obviously, it's kind of a it's a br pretty big concept, and the more I think about it, the more I'm like, if if that does happen, obviously we're like, yo, like we are the ones that predicted that. But it's also like I I want him to just do whatever he thinks is is best, you know. <clears throat> so yeah, that's where I'm at. Ooh, whoa! I need to take a picture of that. Yeah, Thursday cover is pretty good. It's really good. <laughs> I love the little jump he does. What does that say? To pass this sign is to French kiss death. To pass this sign is to French kiss death. 
That sounds like a like a cool bar. Uh something some waste of breath. Some some French kiss death bars. Afterlife equals sunrise equals Las Vegas, yeah. That'd be I think that would be really good symbol Whoa, well, hello. Really good symbolism. I again the flower blooming, that's another that's another one of those images I wanna see again. He, he, this dude literally has the hair of like childish Gambino. It's pretty cool. This is like if if Bino had the the Don FM filter. I suddenly feel quite uncomfortable. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Bino's living in the future, so this is just this is just this is literally just Childish Gambino. Hey man, Quentin, anytime, man, anytime, my brother. Like I said, this is a this is an open space for anyone who just like wants to talk about music, the weekend, stuff like that. So, if y'all got any more questions, if you guys just any 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 other thoughts and stuff you guys thought you thought think would be interesting, you know where to leave it. Okay. I'm not leaving on that note. We'll, we'll, we'll play a couple more minutes. We'll play a couple more minutes. But. <clears throat> so I got to start getting ready for this Warriors game. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Can I shred? Nope. What happens if I walk back? Alright. Wow. Another picture of that. Sorry. Can I just shred? Oh, wow. Such a crazy game, man. Really enjoying this one. I can double jump. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Are you guys enjoying this as much as I am right now? <laughs> I'm going kind of crazy. This is sick. Look at that. Wow.
Hey. Wow. What happens if I fall? <laughs> All right, just wanted to test it out. This is the cosmic lung. What are some of your anticipated movies this year? Huh? <clears throat> there's a move. There's like a Scorsese movie with a. Whoa! Hello. Damn those lips, though. I swear to God, this game is made by someone who, someone who has seen this podcast before. <laughs> Are you God? Is like a line that we say in our, uh, it's like our, our magnum opus that we made uh, called, what was it? <laughs> Book of Genesis, Book of Genesis Part One. If you guys uh, don't know, it's like our. <laughs> let me let me put it in the chat real quick. If you guys don't know what the Book of Genesis is. It is our hit song that we made to to start. Hold on, sorry. I just realized I'm not good at multitasking. It's our hit song that we made to on the Our Thoughts EP, and it has. It starts off with a little skit. I don't know how to leave for something in the chat. But yeah, just look up Book of Genesis. You'll find it. Really great. I think. A, a genuinely really good rap song that we made. So, go check that out. By the way, hold on real quick. Rank rank these three artists. Uh, no no no. How, I, yeah, rank rank them. Uh, Drake, Travis Scott, Tyler the Creator. Let me hear what you guys' rankings are at this at this particularly jun junction, at this moment in time. Rank those three artists. Oh, again. It's the weekend. My name. It haunts me. In this place, you are the bearer of names. But choose wisely. Names can choose be wisely. Away. I get to choose my name. Wow. At, th at this point in their career. At this point in the career. All right, we get to name ourselves. What name do you want? Should we should we name this our uh, alter ego? The weekday. <laughs> I am the ethereal, flamboyant, enigmatic. Let's go with enigmatic. Hmm. Y'all got any name suggestions? Hmm. Why can't I think of anything? Oh, then right now is Tyler Travis Drake. Okay. That's a good... Uh, at the moment, Tyler Travis... So both so both of you guys are saying... Okay. 
Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think I think that's where I'm at too. Even though even though Travis hasn't dropped an album in a while, I think I think Travis is like a legit artist. I think he's one of those guys. But whereas, you know, Drake, he's just kind of there for the views, there for the streams, all that stuff. He's there to have fun. So that's you know, can't hate on him for that. Anyways, uh, you guys got any suggestions for names? Cause I do not think. I will literally just, I just want to see it on screen. Oh, not the. <laughs> the enigmatic weekday. I have no idea. The thoughties. Our thoughts. Oh, like, why do I keep? Our thoughts. Podcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, the enigmatic. Oh, we'll do our thoughts pod. How about that? Our thoughts pod. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yep, that's me. And where are you headed? Hard to say. Really? Got to man. Got to plug. see where we're at i think this is where we'll, we'll probably uh end off for the day oh hey yo. the flowers blooming crazy this is crazy man I'm really digging this game. I don't know if um, if this has been as much fun as for you guys as much as it's been for me. The Cosmic Lung, there we go. But I've been loving this. This is very Doctor Strange, yeah. Oh shit, we got Naked HD. Go ahead and... Curry, if you could go ahead and... Block that person for us real quick. Zom. Well, it doesn't look like they're spamming it. Whatever. Thank you. Shout out to our mod. You mean like a root and toot and <coughs> convoy? Yeah, let's say cruise ship. Thanks. Alright. So. I think. That is going to do it for us today. Go ahead and cut to this angle real quick. So, I think that's going to do it for us today. Get the Our Thoughts Podcast. Thank you to everyone for coming through. This has been a really, really fun kind of tr test run for, for Our Thoughts Gaming. Uh, if you guys might as well go ahead and plug this. So, if we kind of started a gaming channel already, actually. we uh, it, it has a logo. It has stuff on there. I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. 
but we started there is a link like it, it it does exist our thoughts gaming does exist let me go ahead and put it in the chat real quick if you guys just want to subscribe to it it's it's really there's nothing there we're probably going to be streaming video games on here for the time being um just just for the you know we already established this channel as with with a bunch of subscribers so we'll probably just keep doing that but yeah no there you go we'll put left it in the chat for y'all uh to go check out it has a cute little logo and we will well i don't know hopefully we'll be doing some stuff on there so thank you all for coming it's been an absolute pleasure as always meeting with y'all every week hope you guys enjoyed you know let us know what you think about about this whole thing about about uh gaming and uh and and just us if you guys have any feedback uh any ideas let me know um and hold on hold on hold on i want to look right into the camera and we'll see you guys later peace out mm, okay all right actually peace out will there be streams on there too probably most likely eventually yeah all right bye